In this video, I'll show the changes for Evergrowth Alpha 194, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. After working on the combat AI, it seemed like arena gameplay would be a logical next step. However, I don't want it to be a predetermined set of levels to play one after the other. It'd be a lot more interesting to procedurally mix and match different elements, based on some kind of meta game. That wasn't possible with the existing editor, which was designed to create mostly static levels. So I've been working on rewriting parts of the editor to give scripting more power to change levels dynamically. Now, the level script can create and destroy objects, and also change their position, color, and other parameters. These features are not really intended to be used in real time like this, but it's a good way to test the functionality to see if it's working. Normally, it'd be more like this, to create variations of an idea. These changes have been taking a while, because the editor was one of the first things we created, and making deep changes to old code can be tricky. I put it off until now, because it didn't work well with the weekly video schedule, but I think it will be worth it when it's done. You can tell that refactoring is going well if you end up with a lot less code than you start with, and that's how these editor changes have been going so far. That's it for this video. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, and get a free copy of our new FPS game, Receiver, you can do that at wolfhire.com slash preorder. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at Wolfire.